Well, hey guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I wanted to review a new knife that I just got. This is the Pathfinder Scout Knife. Uh, this is a knife that I saw while I was at the gathering this year, and I just really liked the way it felt and the shape and the profile of this knife. Now, uh, this sells on the Pathfinder website for $250 and it comes with a handmade leather sheath with a fire steel loop. Now, this is a traditional sheath. It's really nothing uh, special about it. It does uh, have a, a real nice shape and feel to it. It's a good quality leather sheath and it's a very simple uh, style, frontier style sheath that uh, it just looks pretty bomb proof. Uh, good heavy duty stitching. Uh, it's thick. Uh, the fire steel loop looks like it, it goes in very nice. The, uh, uh, the divider in here is separated where there's no uh, deviation of the thickness of the leather and it's finished very well. Now what I did and what I do with most of my sheaths of this style is I did add a split ring to the back and what that allows me to do is to wear a carabiner on my belt. And then if I want to use this as a dangle sheet, I simply snap it on to the carabiner on my belt. That will move back and forth. And when I'm not wearing it, that carabiner will lay tight up against my body and doesn't get in the way. And if I do not want to use it as a dangler, I just want to put my belt through it. Uh, the ring just folds down, it's out of the way, and it makes a nice addition. I bought this knife because I wanted another hunting knife, and I laid my uh, Pathfinder knife up here that I won last year, just so that you could see the comparison of these two, as far as size goes. And you can look in a previous video and see where I process some game with this knife, and it works. It works well. But this knife is designed to be a survival knife or a one tool option. And I really wanted to move up in the world of my uh, processing and my hunting knives and get a knife that was more designed for that particular purpose. So, with that said, let me move the camera in a little bit closer and uh, give you a closer view of that and I'll read off some of the specs of that knife. Okay, here's a little bit of a closer view, and you can see a little bit better the comparison of the PLSK-1 by Blind Horse Knives and the new Pathfinder Scout by Blind Horse Knives. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this right now, and the other sheath. And I'll read to you the description from the website. The Pathfinder Scout is designed from the ground up to be a traditional frontier knife with modern construction techniques and the blind horse knife quality that you have come to expect. Now these knives are handmade in Ohio, which is great. I love the US made product, especially when the quality is uh, of this caliber. It's made out of 532nd, that's the thickness of this, which is a good thick uh, spine. 532nd 01 tool steel. Uh, this knife has a real good balance. You can tell the uh, the way that the hand grip is shaped. I've got plenty of room. They've added a nice size lanyard hole at the back. It's a little bit larger than my Pathfinder uh, PLSK-1. Uh, they've done that so that it makes it a little bit easier uh, to put some paracord or so through there. Uh, I really like this rounded style handle. I, I, I find that when I'm processing game, it really makes it um, just so much easier uh, to use after uh, you know processing game all day long so I, I really appreciate that it says that this is a natural colored phenolic resin p-h-e-n-o-l-i-c resin and it's attached to the steel with uh, epoxy and it's two ton epoxy so it's completely sealed so you don't have to worry about uh, you know fluids getting into this or behind it and rusting the steel behind the handles it's completely sealed uh, another uh, change to this is the new blade profile 
This is a saber grind, which is basically a Scandinavian grind with a secondary bevel. Now I want to tell you, this thing came absolutely razor sharp. And I have found that these steels that Blind Horse Knife uses, um, I use a sharpening system that actually clamps onto the blade so that I hold the angle and use my different stones. But all I have to do is just use my final stone and just keep this thing touched up and they just stay razor sharp. I've been very impressed with the edge that it holds, especially after processing two and three deer and just having to touch it up and uh, just absolutely bomb proof. Uh, the overall length here, as you can see, is 10 and 7 eighths and the sharpened edge from here to the tip is five and a quarter. Now the other thing that I really liked was I wanted something more like a traditional frontier butcher knife. This thing is an inch and five eighths wide and that really gives you a lot of blade as far as when you're trying to do those long straight cuts. Uh, one other thing was the uh, the knife did come with a Pathfinder fire steel in the fire steel loop and it has a retention stretch band. Alright guys, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, just a few other small details of the knife. On this side right here is the Pathfinder logo and stamped on this side is the Blind Horse Knives logo. Blind Horse kept their logo fairly small on this particular knife and the Pathfinder School definitely left their new logo uh, at a very modest size also. You know, I'm really looking forward to using this. I'm going to start using it right away, but I'm sure you're really uh, going to notice me carrying it in a lot of videos come hunting season this year. Uh, it's exactly what I've been looking for. It's like Blind Horse was reading my mind as far as a, a new hunting knife that I wanted to replace uh, a knife that I lost this past year. Uh, I think this is going to be a fantastic tool and something that I'll be proud to pass down to my son one day. So thanks for joining me once again. I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. God bless.